If you guys pre-ordered the customizable authentic jerseys from the NBA store or Fanatics and he had a crappy quality or just some defects to it, hit me up. What's going on guys? This video is going to be an update video to the video that I posted last month. I know I just said a video a whole bunch of times. Alright, let's get back to it. So basically last month, Fanatics dropped these customizable authentic jerseys for a whole bunch of teams and people were kind of getting mixed up with, like their listing was bad. So I don't know if you guys remember that. It said like, authentic swingman, I don't know, swingman authentic or some stuff like that. Like their listing was terribly written and basically like when I talked to customer service and I also had a couple other people confirm, they were saying, oh no, it's an actual authentic jersey. But you know, they had swingman in the listing. So when I posted about it, I did warn everybody like, hey, it's like a listing error, but man, there's some issues with those badges. Personally, I pre-ordered my jersey at the NBA store. NBA store Fanatics, pretty much the same company, run by the same people. But I was looking through my email a couple days ago and I saw, hey, regarding your order, it got canceled. So, you know, with pre-orders, you kind of just have to sit back and see when that, you know, it's like a surprise gift. It gets to you when it gets to you. But if you did order it, I suggest you do checking your email and seeing what the status of your order is because you don't want to be sitting and waiting like, oh, where did it go? and it just never get, comes to you. But with the um, pre-order that they canceled on me, they basically sent me a 25% off discount, but we all know these promo codes don't always work for everything on the websites. But getting 25% off is better than getting nothing, but I totally understand why it sucks because a lot of people were getting like Jason Tatum jerseys and John Morant jerseys and getting it canceled. Those are already like really hard to find, so Man, I feel for you guys and I know it sucks, um, especially because pre-orders you lock up your money and you could have maybe used your money elsewhere. But they uh, basically gave me a refund pretty quickly within like two, three days. So if you just check your account, you'll get a refund, your bank account or credit card statement, you'll get a refund. So, I mean, your money's back to you, but you lose a jersey that you probably, well, hopefully you didn't lose it, but hopefully it still works out. On to the main reason why I made this video. So, with these authentic customizable batches, you're paying 270 bucks and you're hoping like, hey, it's perfect and it's pristine and it's just like the same way it's built when like everything else gets released, right? So, you have some people that did get those batches where it's perfect and it's nice and it's just overall can't go wrong, right? And then some people also got sponsor patches. Got lucky, got some sponsor patches. I was like, dude, that's dope. But let's go on to the bad side. So I'm hearing a ton of horror stories and I'm not the type of guy to complain, but I've seen like what people are posting and I'm like, man, I would complain. Like it's, it's that bad. Like I even feel bad like throwing it out there and then like, let's say someone got it and they got the crappy batch and that's why I'm doing this. So right now I'm talking to somebody from Fanatics and I'm just trying to compile a whole bunch of information of people who had like the Dookie batch. Like, so basically some people have been sending and posting in forums and things like that, but they're authentic based jersey, right? And then I guess it's already pre-done where you got like the logo in the front. So that's regular stitching. Some people have been getting like, kind of, well, how can I explain it? I mean, I haven't had it in person, so it's kind of harder for me to like um, explain it, but it kind of looks like the uh, the faux stitching from like the Nike replica baseball jerseys, where it looks like it has stitching and it's actually heat pressed onto the jersey. So it's so like- So on that stitching, usually with jerseys, you could probably see it really clearly on the outside, I mean the inside of the jersey, but when I unbutton it and look through here, it's pretty faint. like. It looks, I guess you could really see it, but you know, with other jerseys, like other sports jerseys, it's pretty prominent where you could see the stitching in the inside. So it's like, man, you're paying that much money and then you're getting crappy quality. Well, I, yeah, crappy quality, because you're thinking it's gonna be an authentic. People have been posting on forums, basically when you flip the jersey inside out, you can see the stitching quality differs from like the actual manufacturer direct like retail releases. So like the non-customizable ones like the, that are already like pre-made and pre-built for like mass releases. So you see like it's heat pressed or it's just the spacing looks wrong when it comes to like the, the last name. It's like too cramped up. It just looks sloppy and I've seen some terrible ones that like I saw this somebody posted a Phoenix one. But basically, the coloring is totally off. Like, the phoenix across the chest, there's a 
you know, a particular orange. The numbering, it's like a totally different orange. So you got some crappy batches and I'm gonna try to like, just send a, send a complaint to Fanatics and see what, you know, see if I can help out. And I've had some people say like the customizable numbers feel like swingman numbers and it's just stitched on. So it's like, I feel like, man, whoever customized it has been terrible. Actually, I know who customized it. Um, a lot of people have been telling me when you look at the shipping label, it's shipped from like silver, crystal, sports, or I don't know, some kind of variation. But that's a third party which Fanatics uses for customizing like jerseys, and they haven't had the best track record in like throughout working with them. Normally, I've never had a bad experience with customizing jerseys and Fanatics, but to think about it, I've only done like the Swingman version, so. I really don't complain too much, so like the little spacing issue it wasn't always a big thing, but for 270, the whole stitching like issue, that is something we have to complain about. So right now I'm just trying to compile everybody's information that had like bad quality jerseys. Cause the person at Fanatics that I'm talking to basically are like, oh, they could be ordering from counterfeit places. And you know, I get it, I get where, where he's coming from. So he's like basically wanting to know what's the exact order, who bought it and things like that, just to make sure it isn't counterfeit ones that people are like saying, oh, and just Fanatics did this to, to me, you know? So he wants to make sure that this is like legit order. So what I'm asking you guys is that if you've had like a bad order and bad customizable authentic, if you could just hit me up. The person at Fanatics wants me to get like the name, the order number, whatever email that's like associated with the order so they can contact you. Um, maybe some pictures. I think getting pictures that so I can just compile a list and when I send it to him, actually he can see it because he was kind of resistant with me like talking about it and like trying to let him know. Like he didn't believe it. I, it, it that's what I felt. That's why I interpreted so I would just want to come with like all the information and whoever got like the bad batches. Hopefully we could get something going. Maybe, it, hey, you guys get a discount or I don't know. I mean, mine got canceled so I physically can't like show them like, okay, this is the two differences, right? So I'm just trying to get everybody who did get like the short end of the stick, like I'm trying to help you guys out because it isn't right. And hopefully this can change like whoever they use to customize stuff or Man, they could just be on their case so they like are consistently making great products. I'm gonna have my email in the description. You could also hit me up on Instagram or Facebook, whichever you prefer. But basically just need name, email use for the order, the order number, maybe a screenshot of the order. Um, if there's any in like important information, you could just blur that out. But that and then also pictures. If you could do me a solid and do pictures just so I, I can show them the quality. Hopefully you can make some change. But hey, thanks again for getting, thanks again for watching guys. And I'm sorry if you did get the short end of the stick. I'm just trying to make things right. Peace.